Hello everybody. I uh, weeknight dinners. You just want something quick and family friendly and I've got a great meal here ready to go or ready to prep uh, that kids will love. The classic sloppy joes. <clears throat> Pardon me. This was uh, brand new to this catalog and I'm so excited because I love sloppy joes and I haven't had them in so long. Um, and it's super simple along with all of our what's for dinner packs. The, um, the, re the recipe, I guess, or the directions are right on the back. Super simple. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of quick prep work and yeah, I want to show you all kinds of good stuff. I took a picture of this before I started chopping so you'd see how pretty it is. Uh, reversible, not slidey cutting board. It is also brand new to the catalog. Fantastic cutting board. Uh, I'm showing off our Epicure ceramic paring knife. We have, this is the four inch size and then we have a five inch size. And what does everybody ask me about it? How does it work with tomatoes? Well, I'm gonna show you. It's really, it's a great knife. Mine's a little stained right now because it's been cutting peaches for a couple weeks, but that will, um, what was I going to say? That, that'll come off eventually. Uh, do you, can you put them in the dishwasher? You can physically. Do we recommend it? No. Um, but we don't recommend that for any knife. Epicure or otherwise should not go in your dishwasher. Do I put mine in the dishwasher? Yes, I do. Same thing with your cutting board. Dishwasher safe. Um, what I would love to have done is made our sloppy joes in our Epicure multi-purpose pan because it is amazing. I have been in the middle of moving for a year, which is coming to an end very soon, but my big fabulous pan is in storage, so I'm using just what I have on hand. I'm also going to do some Greek salad tonight, so I'm going to show you a quick demo to make some salad dressing in our cruet, and I'm going to show you what my little lawn dart here is for. It's not a lawn dart, but when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, okay, we sell lawn darts, whatever. So I've got my pan heating up and it's one of those super non-stick pans. Um, so I don't need any oil or anything in the pan. I'm just gonna throw my onions in. Listen to that. I love that sound. Onions. Uh, you don't have to put onions in. It doesn't say anything about onions on the pack. I did it for two reasons. I like it ever since I was a kid. That's not a good view for you guys. Ever since I was a kid, We've always done onions um, with our ground beef, and but it doesn't say anything about onions on the back. And it also shows you how versatile our recipes are. You can mix, match, add pretty much whatever you want. And then I'm going to add our ground beef. <clears throat> you can, um, if you want to make it a vegetarian sloppy joe, which I wouldn't, but hey, I'm not a vegetarian, just replace the ground beef with uh, lentils. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to wash my hands, oh, one second, I meant to tell you, our knives, they make great little gifts by the way, and they come with these really great covers, so keep them nice and safe. Anyway, my lawn dart, check it out, this is my lawn dart, let me see if I can get you a little closer here to the action, or a little better view, lawn dart. It's a meat separator. So, when you're cooking up your ground beef, much better than using a metal spatula or a fork on your good pans so you don't want to scratch your pans up. And this is just going to separate all your meat nice and... This is kind of fun. This is the first time I've used it. Also brand new to the catalog, the Lawn Dart slash Meat Separator. Forever, I will forever call it a Lawn Dart. I miss lawn darts, and I mean the classic lawn darts that, you know, you kids aren't allowed to play with nowadays. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have that going, and just while that's doing its thing, oh my gosh, this is so fun. If you've had a bad day at work, that'll fix it. Okay, let's just uh, put that over here for the moment. 
and let that do its thing. How's the knife work on tomatoes? Okay, I'm still trying to get the camera angles right. Once I get my new house, I'll get a much better setup. Okay, well, how does it work on tomatoes? Just like that. Ooh, nice tomato. I hate tomato seeds. That's a great tomato right there. Right out of the garden. And these are actually pretty soft tomatoes, pretty squishy. They were co cooked. They were picked about a week ago. And I like to cut, we call it, well, we call it something else in my house. I'll say the butt end of the tomato. We call it a word that starts with A. Look at that. Not squishing it. I feel like I'm doing one of those commercials and I'm going to cut through a can next, but I'm not. I'm, I, I don't recommend cutting through a can. Uh, yeah. Wow. Cut through the tomato. Just like that. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you. That's how great those knives are. They just zip through tomatoes. I use them to cut through frozen bananas when I make smoothies. Um, yeah, they're pretty great. I'm going to go back to this for now. Because it was fun. Squish it up. That's a good little gadget. I like it. Look at that. Woohoo! Okay. So while that's doing this thing, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back to here. Hello! I'm gonna do some salad dressing really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna do our Greek dressing because I'm making Greek salad. Greek dressing, so our salad dressing jars, again, like our things, have the recipe right on the side. And it will have should have three different recipes. So this one will have just your basic Greek dressing, creamy Greek feta, and uh, Greek salad. It will tell you how to make your Greek salad. Um, now, it's supposed to have red wine vinegar in it. Apparently, I have been making too much Greek salad this summer, and I'm out of red wine vinegar. So that's sad for me. I'm going to use apple cider vinegar instead. It'll change the taste up just a little, but it's still going to be great. Highly recommended to go with your cruet is our funnel, specially designed to fit inside the cruet. And dusty. Mine's dusty. So just like that. And your measurements are all right on the side. Another really handy tool to have in your kitchen if you don't have one already. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Dishwasher. Is our four in one spice spoon. Fantastic tool because all your tablespoons, teaspoons, etc., are on one tool instead of all over your drawer. And unless it's in your dishwasher, you don't have to go looking for them. So, tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon, and quarter teaspoon all on one tool. So, make up a batch of Greek dressing. I'm actually only going to do a half batch. So, one tablespoon, and it fits right inside our jars, where a round spoon won't do that. A tablespoon sometimes, a little tricky, but still fits. Oh, so you didn't see that. I dumped that in. And then it's just calling for... So it calls for three quarters of a cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of red wine. So I'm just going to wing it. It's not baking. I don't really like measuring stuff. So. La, 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 la. La, 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 That's good. Olive oil. You got kids that want to help out in the kitchen? It's a good project for them. No knives involved, no cutting. Okay. I'm just gonna do that little bit, maybe a little bit more of cider vinegar. Just like that, take out your funnel, put your lid on tight and hand it to your kid or a kid to shake it up. And that's good to go. Homemade salad dressing with way less whatever that's in, you know, other dressings. Like, I know I have Greek in the fridge here somewhere. Don't ask me why, I don't know where it came from, but I have craft Greek dressing. Let's do a little comparison, shall we? Whoops. So, sodium. 
in your craft Greek dressing. 150 milligrams per serving, which is a tablespoon. Sodium in your Greek salad dressing from Epicure? Zero. Zero. So if you're going low sodium, Epicure is what you want to do. We'll just put that back. Speaking of sodium, actually I'll tell you that later. I'm going to stop for a moment, get some more stuff going that uh, is really not very interesting for you, and I'll be back. All right, we are good to go. I am going to, uh-oh, we were good to go. Oh, there we go. Lost my salad dressing there for a minute. I'm just gonna shake it up a little. Now afterwards, if you want to store it, I actually store mine on the counter. It's just oil and vinegar. Um, because if you put it in the fridge, it all separates, and then the oil kind of solidifies, and you gotta, you can store it in the fridge, but then, you want to get it out at least half an hour before you're going to have your dinner because you want it to solidify so you, or unsolidify so you can shake it up. So I'm just going to add a little bit of dressing. Let's, uh, let's watch, shall we? Sorry for the dirty dishes in the sink. The busy day and didn't get to them. Just a little dressing. Little dressing. So perfectly balanced plate would be uh, a serving of protein, a grain, half of your plate should be veggies, and then a healthy fat, which would be the oil that's in our, um, our dressing. So, I've got my grain. Next time, I'm adding mushrooms. Because my, like, at our house, mushrooms are like bacon and they make everything better. So that's probably a little more than a serving. I don't care. It looks good. It smells good. I'm indulging. There we go. And I made a little mess on my stove here when I was stirring. So, voila! Sloppy Joes and Greek salad. Maybe not the most traditional combination, but I'm getting my, uh, my veggies and my protein and all that fun stuff in there. So, Hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoy the Sloppy Joes if you order them and the meat separator and the cutting board and the knife and the cruet and the spoon and the funnel and the Greek dressing. And we did a lot of Epicure in one video. And it really took me less than half an hour to make dinner because I was yapping there in the middle. So nice quick meal. Helps if I talk to the camera. Nice quick meal and uh, we're good to go. It's dinner time. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. All right, I'm back. And this is pretty much good to go. And I'm still having fun with my meat separator lawn dart tool. Um, so normally you would drain this. There's not a whole lot here to drain. So I've let it cook down. Um, so very, it's either lean or it's extra lean ground beef. And uh, most, and it's also, there's no oil or anything in the pan. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Now. Sloppy Joe's. Super easy. What I should have done first is open the can of tomato paste. Because that's not exciting. You don't need to see that. Okay, we're back. Can of tomato paste. So we need the seasoning. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Uh, yeah, add seasoning. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? It's such a pretty color. It's like almost like a corally pink. We'll get it all. Don't waste it. The ingredients, onion, red and green bell peppers, paprika, cornstarch, garlic, sea salt, black pepper, and spices. Nothing unpronounceable. I need tomato paste, <clears throat> and I need a drink apparently, not like a drink, well a drink drink would be nice, but like water, my throat's a little dry here. I'm being watched by my dog too, he must smell the deliciousness. Now, I've got, uh, and according to the instructions, since this is brand new, this is the first time I'm making this version, 
Uh, it calls for one and a half cups of water, which I have right here. I'm actually gonna do this and get some of the tomato paste out. Well, there you go. Now you know, two cans of tomato paste is a cup and a half of water. Good to know. And I need a spoon. Hi, buddy. Ooh, smells so good. I wasn't sure that this pan was gonna hold all of it, but I'm good. I still would rather have my big flashy Epicure pan just because it's so pretty. But I'm good with this. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Where'd the thingy go? I'm assuming I have to lower the temperature. Reduce heat to medium. Oh, I'm already on medium. I'm going to drop it a little bit. And simmer for five to seven minutes. Stirring occasionally. Now, what I want to do, super exciting, right? So once that's simmered up, I'm going to serve it on uh, hamburger buns. And I've got my Greek salad ready to go. And then we're good to go. What I do want to do is tell you this. I'm going to do a little us versus them. Them Clubhouse Sloppy Joe Mix. Which is delicious. But it's got, let's see, ours, our first ingredient is onion. Theirs, their first ingredient is cornstarch. That's not exciting. Dehydrated vegetables. Yippee. Uh, sugar. Hmm. Did we have sugar in ours? I didn't see sugar in ours. Salt, spices, including chili pepper. Spice extractives, Ext big word. And silicone dioxide, doesn't that sound delicious? Also, per, okay, here's the other thing. This is 37 grams. This is 55 grams. Per quarter package for 9.3 grams. 590 milligrams of sodium, two grams of sugar. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Anyway, um, fat, uh, same fats. Okay, 590 milligrams of sodium, 210 milligrams of sodium per quarter pack which is 14 grams. So in 9.3 grams, you've got 590 milligrams, and in 14 grams, you've got 210 milligrams. Big sodium difference, especially if you're watching your sodium. So I am just gonna let that simmer, and the next time you see me, I'll be holding up a lovely plate of delicious sloppy joes, and I'm so excited. So when you come home from a busy day at work, and the kids are driving you nuts, and your husband's driving you nuts, or your wife, I don't know who's all on here. Um, everybody's just driving you crazy. You need a quick meal that everybody's going to love. Sloppy Joe's is a good go-to. And you can pound out your frustrations with our meat separator lawn dart. Awesome, right? Okay, I will be back with our final product.